Hey everyone, uh, I had a request on how do you take the satellite image uh, generated from Mapbox Bridge, or you know, this will work for any satellite Im image um, as long as it's the right size for your landscape. Um, how do you how do you make it? Uh, how do you lay it on top of um, the imported landscape? So as you can see here, we have done that. So let me just I'm going to delete everything and we're going to start from scratch and I'll go through it. So, first of all, let's go to our map box. I'm assuming you've already got all this set up. Let's select a map. And I'm going to grab this area over here with a little water in it. Okay. And then I'm going to change the landscape size to 2017 by 2017. I'm going to choose download satellite image. And then, and I'm not using world position, world partition in this one right now, just... Uh, regular landscape but it doesn't doesn't it shouldn't really matter and we'll go ahead and send it to Unreal and we'll wait it should come in here in a second all right let's see let's take a look at it and probably lower the Z scale a little bit yeah all right it's in there let's go to our landscape and let's, uh, I don't know, maybe 50? Yeah. Let me move up my camera speed here a little bit. There we go. Yeah, that looks nice. Okay, so now we've got our landscape. Let's just save everything. Um, now, it's pretty simple to, uh, basically, we're going to drape a, our landscape our satellite image texture over this. So the first thing we need to do is let's import our texture. I've already created it here uh, just for my learning purposes. <laughs> so let's go ahead and do it again. Let's just create a folder called uh, materials two. Materials two. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> and click on that. And the first thing we want to do is import our image our satellite image and basically you can just go to your download folder where you downloaded it again that's um, when you set up uh, Mapbox Bridge you went to settings here and you chose a folder location and that's where all the files are actually downloaded so we're gonna go to that in mine that is 3D projects uh, real world height maps and here we go so we've got our height maps and our satellite image. So I'm just going to select on it. You can see the satellite image is also 2017. It's been resized, uh, resampled to that as well. So let's go ahead and import that. So now we've got it in as a texture. Next, we need to create a material. So I'm going to right click uh, and choose material. And I'm just going to call this landscape. Landscape. OK. And we can double click and open that up. Let's get some room here and I'm going to bring it down here so I can just drag and drop my texture in here. <clears throat> All right, let's open that back up. So what we want to do, since we're going to be laying it over top of our kind of over top of it landscape, we're going to use emissive color. That seems to work the best. So let's set that up submissive color. Now, we need to get some landscape layer texture coordinates. So right click and type in coordinates. And you will see texture coordinate. You can grab that. And you don't need to, uh, sorry, you don't need, you don't really need to do that, but I like that. OK. And now we need to add a custom UV. So what we can do with that, if you just click on the anywhere not on anything and go over here and type in custom. And you see here it says number of custom UVs. We just want to add one. OK. <clears throat> and then we want to do a divide. So press D on your keyboard and click your left mouse and get a divide. So we're going to divide our texture coordinates. OK. And we're going to plug that into our custom UV. And then we also need to 
make this a parameter here. We want to divide it by the size of our landscape, which is 2017. So we right click on this, choose promote to parameter, and we'll just call it divide. And um, type in 2017. Okay. And we also want to do one thing on specular since it's going to be real shiny. We don't want it. So we're going to right click on spec specular, promote it to parameter. And that's fine. It's default set to zero, which will mean it's uh, we're no specular. So that should be it. So we've gotten our landscape texture here. We plugged it into a mist of color. We've taken some landscape texture coordinates and divided it by the size of our landscape, whatever that may be. If you imported it as 505 or whatever, that's what you need to put here. Mine was 2017 when we imported it. And you need to make a set of custom UVs. <clears throat> Once that's done, go ahead and save that. Okay. So now we have got our new landscape material, and all we need to do is apply that. So we go to our landscape, <clears throat> scroll down, and find landscape material. Make sure we've got our landscape material selected. Hit the little arrow, and there you go. So now you can see that we've got, uh, you know, everything is coming, all the mountains. You can see the rivers here, the lakes. Mountaintops. Now, it's not going to look great close up. Um, I mean, that's just the texture resolution. I don't, you know, I don't know if with much if we can do much about that, just because that's just the way the the size, the texture comes in from Mapbox. Um, you know, there may be some more advanced ways of overlaying a uh, uh, a satellite image on a landscape. This is just one way. Um, I learned, in fact, I, I read it on a, a forum post in Unreal. Somebody posted it, and it, and it, and it you know, looks pretty decent um, you know, from far away, just not really very good at close-up shots. So that is one way uh, you can do it. Um, you know, Maybe you can search for others. Or there may be some better ones. Uh, you may be able to tweak some stuff in your material um, as far as you know to handle stretching and that kind of stuff. But for the most part, it's that simple. Thanks. Bye.